I'm Andy Church. I'm the product manager for Corel Painting Products. I'm here today to talk to Steve Bolt, our user experience lead about Painter 12.2. Welcome, Steve. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Andy. I'm really excited to talk to the Painter community today. So tell me, what's in 12.2, this new version of Corel Painter? Well, Andy, 12.2 is all about productivity. It's all about cutting edge brush control and uh, iPad control of the Painter desktop. Wow, sounds like quite a bit in there. Let's start from the top. Tell me about some of the new productivity features. Yeah, sure, Andy. This is a really exciting time. Wacom has introduced uh, two new devices. We've got the Intuos 5 and the Cintiq 24-inch. And both of these feature multi-touch control. Gosh, they're gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. They're really exciting. Very nice industrial design and uh, excellent to have the, uh, the touch control on these. So what's, uh, what's in Painter 12.2 specific to these devices? What Painter's got now is uh, we're, we're making use of the multi-touch. We're going to allow you to pan, zoom, and rotate with the touch controls. Uh, you can do this independently, or best of all, you can do this simultaneously. You can do all three at once for a very fluid experience. Wow, that looks fantastic. What, uh, what does this really mean to a painter pro who's sitting at the screen day to day? Well, it, it, it's great, Andy, because it means a lot less uh, hunting and pecking, use of, the, of each command. It's going to make you more productive, more efficient. It's just like grabbing paper now. What happens if I'm manipulating the document, I'm really zeroed in, I've turned it, made 270 degrees, and I just quickly want to see how it looks in context? Well, that's the good news. Uh, we actually added a feature as well to two-finger double tap. If you do that, it's going to recenter the document, put it back in the center of the screen, remove all rotation pan zoom. That's fantastic. These are really amazing enhancements. What else has gone into Painter 12.2, Steve? I want to talk about flow maps. Got to talk about flow maps. It's an extension to our real watercolor technology and our real wet oil technology. Um, what it does is it's going to give you more control over the, the way the pigment, the oil, the water actually flows. You're going to get less saturation in the peaks of the flow map and uh, more saturation in the valleys. Look at how the paint follows the direction of the flow map properties and underlying flow map texture. Uh, you can see how the paint pools in the key areas of the map. How are users going to apply this day to day? Yeah, we've got a great example with Skip Al. He's using flow maps in, in, a, in a customized way. So he's actually creating custom flow maps, the images in and of themselves, and uh, he's actually customizing some of the controls and this is giving him additional control in, in where the, the paint and pigment flows. The, the results are outstanding. That's fascinating. Is this something one could easily do in other tools or is this uh, kind of a unique new advancement in the world of digital art. Oh, this is uh, cutting edge. Uh, there's not any application that's doing it quite like this. Fantastic. What else can you tell me about Painter 12.2? What else has gone into the product? Well, uh, the, the other thing that's exciting to talk about is the enhancements in productivity. I mean, here's a, a very straightforward one. It's called vertical docking. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to uh, put the panels uh, the toolbars off to the side of the screen, get them locked in place. We have customers who have given us feedback that they, they want to actually uh, not have panels floating above their application. This way they can dock them away. If you move your entire application from one window to another window, they're going to all go with it. So it's uh, quite a nice feature that way. Painter 12.2 sounds like it has tremendous new enhancements for that desktop experience. I noticed the dev team were working on an iPad application. What's that all about? Yeah, Andy, that's really exciting. That's called Corel Cinco. It's our first iPad companion application. And uh, what it does is uh, you connect your iPad via Wi-Fi to the Painter desktop, and you're able to send commands. This could be brush commands, toolbar commands, uh, uh, anything you can customize in Painter. And you're sending it to the Painter desktop from your iPad. What this does is it allows users to get the user interface out of the way and uh, allows uh, more pixels to be used for art. And this creates uh, extra efficiency because you're able to focus on the editing and the uh, creation and, and the brush strokes rather than uh, just focusing on uh, working commands. This is a traditional application available on the App Store free for a limited time, Andy. Really okay. easy to get. Yeah. And Painter 12.2, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's, it's a free update for customers, so it arrives as a notification. Uh, and if you don't get that or you miss that, I believe it's under the Help menu. You can check for updates and download Painter 12.2 or simply uh, visit corel.com slash painter. So we do hope our users will join us with uh, this free update and give it a whirl, test it out, and let us know what you think. So come on back to the Painter Factory or our Facebook page and uh, tell us about your 12.2 experiences. Steve, I want to thank you again for joining me today. This has been really interesting in getting, getting the full update on 12.2 from your viewpoint. Uh, thanks again. Yeah, thanks, Andy. We're really excited about it.